Hey guys, it's Mark here, and today I'm gonna give you the inside scoop on something I really enjoy doing this time of year, and that's tip-up fishing for pike. If you've never done it before, you definitely need to watch this video and go give it a try. It is so much fun, and it is something that you can enjoy with the whole family or a big group of friends. It's one of the only times you can go have a very successful day of fishing and never pull out a fishing pole. It's the middle of February here in Erie, Pennsylvania, and we are praying for some colder temps. Late February and early March is the perfect time of year to try this, but we are gonna need some more ice. So far it's been a pretty mild winter, but with colder temperatures in the forecast, I decided it was time to pull out my ice fishing gear and make sure all of my tip-ups are rigged up and ready to go. This right here is a tip-up. It's basically an ice fishing tool that gives us the ability to leave a bait in the water and notifies us when a fish takes that bait. And it does this by raising a flag. I know what you're thinking, how in the heck does it do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. First you put the flag down. Right. And then you what, just clip it over yeah, top? Actually this will be pulled out. I didn't get to that part yet. <laughs> just pull it out. Okay. So then, okay. So fish grabs your bait, runs with it, flag <laughs> up. Okay, I get it yeah. now. There are many different companies that make tip-ups and I'm sure all of them will work just fine, but I really like ones like this for a couple of reasons. One, they're insulated and they're designed to cover the hole you drilled completely. This makes a big difference on those really cold days, helping you keep that hole from freezing back up on you. Another thing I like about these tip-ups is they have a small compartment to put some tackle. I like to keep one of these striker clip-on weights and a small bobber in mine, and I'll show you why in a little bit, but First, let's take a look at how we rig these things up. I like to put about 50 yards of 30 pound braided tip up line on this spool. Then I'll tie that straight to a number three VMC touch lock or dual lock snap. Now I'm ready to connect any size leader. For pike, I like to make an 18 inch leader out of 50 pound suffix fluorocarbon. On one end, I'll tie a 100 pound swivel and on the other, a number four or a number six VMC round bend treble hook. If you plan on using a bait bigger than five inches, you might want to tie on a trailer hook as well. Then all I got to do is add a quarter round split shot about a foot above the bait and clip my leader on the tip up line and I'm ready to go. I also like to make a few backup leaders and some other different size leaders in case I try to fish for something else that day and I like to store them on a piece of pipe insulation like this. Okay, now that we're all rigged up, it's time to fish. Picking a spot for pike really just comes down to experience. Some lakes, you'll find them on a shallow flat in three to five foot of water. Others, you might find them outside of a weed line in 10 to 12 foot of water. You just never know. The nice thing about fishing with tip-ups is that you can cover some water and experiment. In PA, we are allowed five tip-ups per person, and in New York, seven. So if you get a few friends together with tip-ups, you can really put a nice spread out there and greatly increase your odds while fine-tuning your target area. Once we've decided where we're gonna fish, we can start drilling our holes. I like to do this in a grid-like pattern over a few different depths. Once they're all drilled, they all need cleaned out real good. I like to get as much snow and slush away from the tip up as I can. I want to make sure that when that flag goes up, I'm able to see it. The first thing I do when I set up a tip up is take out my clip on weight and small bobber. See what I did there? Put a little heavy weight on there so I can find the depth real quick. Okay, so there it hit bottom. So, I'll bring it up about, so that's bottom where my thumb is, so I'll bring it up about two feet, maybe like that, and put this little bobber there just as a, a marker, so that we know when the bobber is floating on the surface, its sucker will be two feet off the bottom. And now we know how much line we need out for the rest of the day. 
If you have a flasher, you could also use that to find your depth as well. Now that we know how deep we are fishing, we can pull that back up and bait the hook. For pike, I like using live suckers in the four to five inch range. Bigger golden shiners will work, dead bait and cut bait have been known to work as well. You can even catch perch and use them for bait as long as they are legal size for the lake you're fishing on. Now there is a trick for rigging these up. Pike will either grab the bait sideways or head first. I've noticed that if you put the hooks facing with their points back towards the tail, your hookup percentage will be a lot better. I also like to put the hook near the dorsal fin. If you put the hook near the head, it will be more likely to end up further down the pike's throat. And if you are like me and want to release these fish unharmed, this is your best chance to do so. If you are using baits bigger than five inches and you tie a second hook on your leader, you'll wanna put that hook in the same direction, but more towards the tail. Now we can put our bait back down on the Dude, bottom. This is a little different than your, your bass fishing? Yeah. The next step is just setting the flag. And that's it. Voila. Now we just wait and watch for our next flag to go up. The excitement you get out of seeing that flag raise is through the roof. Flag, flag, flag. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost as awesome as running up to it and seeing that spool spinning. At this point, you know he still has the bait and it's time to give him a good hook set. Fighting a fish with your bare hands and bringing that line in hand over hand is something that every fisherman has to try. Yeah. If you have several tip-ups out and aren't having any luck, don't be afraid to move. The pike are feeding often this time of year. They're getting ready to spawn and they're trying to put on the weight. If you get a bait near them, they will eat it. When you start to zero in on their depth and location, you can spend all day running from flag to flag. Some of my favorite memories have been made doing this with friends and family. So give it a try. Grab some tip-ups, get your friends together, and go catch some fish. And if you learned something today, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. And hopefully this tip will help you catch more fish.